Hello, my name is Paul Rosenberger. I'm the Examinations Content Manager at National Registry. Today, my goal is to share the Clinical Judgment Domain Sample Packet, which is going to be a downloadable PDF. The focus of the packet is clinical judgment with aspects of leadership and communication. Clinical judgment will be a new domain that will be tested starting July 1st. The packet is a tool for educators, students, state officials, and anyone else who has an interest in this information. All right, but before we get into the packet, let's talk about three things. First, the changes to the AMT and paramedic examinations will begin July 1st, 2024. And a new domain, clinical judgment, with aspects of leadership and communication will be assessed. The purpose of this packet is to provide information and content exemplars for educators, for candidates, for state officials, and anybody else who would have an interest in this new domain. All right, let's go there. So the sample pack is gonna cover four areas. The first area is screenshots of what the scenario will look like and the items associated with that scenario. The second part of the packet will cover definitions of clinical judgment, leadership, and communication. The third section is going to include uh, definitions as to what are those six steps associated with clinical judgment. And finally, we'll look at sample items that are being used with the scenarios to assess clinical judgment, leadership, and communication. Section one are examples of the snares and the items as viewed by the candidate at the testing center. What you see right now is an actual screenshot of what a candidate will see at the testing center. On the left, you'll note there is the scenario, information about the en route phase of this particular call. And on the right, you'll see the question that's associated with the en route information. At the testing center, the candidate, of course, will not see the purple boxes, the purple lines, or the purple font. They will just see the information that is either gray or blue in the screen. This screen here is just showing you the item that's associated with the en route phase. Again, the purple lines, arrows, and boxes will not be seen by the candidate. The candidate will only see the information that is black and white and blue. Now we want to shift into the second part of the PDF packet. Here we want to show you the theoretical framework for clinical judgment in EMS. The clinical judgment model is shown here. When you look at the model, what you will see is at the very top of it is the three phases of an EMS call. There is a dispatch and en route phase, there is a scene phase, and then finally there is a post scene phase. Clinical judgment uses clinical reasoning and decision making to make a judgment about the scene and the patient. We use leadership and communication when we manage a patient and a scene. And the information that we find on scene and with the patient comes from the patients themselves, from environmental cues, or just information about the providers themselves. The model has six steps. Those six steps are to recognize cues, analyze cues, define hypotheses, generate solutions, take an action, and finally to evaluate to see if things are getting better, worse, or staying the same. But in the end, this is the model that we're going to be using to evaluate clinical judgment, leadership, and communication. Each, each piece in the, of this model has very important information. There's in route, there's scene, there's post scene, there's leadership, there's communication. And then again, there are those six steps of clinical judgment to recognize cues, analyze cues, come up with a hypothesis, generate some solutions, take an action, and ultimately evaluate if those actions are doing something good for the patient or not. With the model defined, let's go in and let's talk about what is clinical judgment. Clinical judgment is the complete process that a clinician uses to reason 
and make decisions about an EMS incident. Clinical judgment includes investigating, experimenting, synthesizing, using critical thinking, decision-making, and problem-solving to employ a sensible solution for a medical emergency. Leadership is the ability to demonstrate proper management and guidance of a patient and the EMS scene. It includes all the actions that we use to guide and lead a scene. Communications in EMS is the ability to express germane information to everybody that we see on a scene. That includes the patient, our peer EMS workers, and other agencies who are responding with us on a given emergency. It also includes conveying information to physicians, doctors, and nurses at the hospital, and then communicating with bystanders or the patient themselves. Communication is any information that we would use or communicate to take care of a patient or a scene. With the screenshot images described and the clinical judgment model defined, let's now go into part three, and that is the clinical judgment steps associated with clinical judgment. Again, those are recognize cues, analyze cues, define hypothesis, generate solutions, take action, and evaluation. Step one involves recognizing cues. A question that is associated with recognizing cues identifies essential information or important information related to the patient or the scene. In this case, the candidate is asked to recognize important, relevant information about the scene or the patient. Step two of the clinical judgment model involves analyzing cues. A question that's associated with analyzing cues includes organizing, classifying, matching the recognized information from step one to a clinical condition or findings from a patient. Step three of the clinical judgment model involves defining a hypothesis or coming to some type of working impression of a patient or an issue associated with the scene. A question associated with defining a hypothesis requires the learner to evaluate and rank a working diagnosis from the patient cues found during the scene encounter. These steps include all possibilities and all plausible differential diagnosis, and in some cases may lend itself to ruling out some types of conditions. Step four of the clinical judgment model includes generating solutions. A question associated with generating solutions uses the hypothesis and all the findings that they had from the recognize and analyze cues to identify reasonable solutions for approving the scene or the patient's condition based on information that they've learned during their EMS course. Step five of the clinical judgment model involves taking an action. A question that's associated with this will ask the candidate to take an action based on what they've previously seen in the scenario. They're asked to determine which therapy or action that is best for the patient or best to manage the scene. The candidate uses clinical judgment to take these and select these actions. The sixth and final step of the clinical judgment model asks the candidate to evaluate everything that has occurred beforehand. The goal here is to see if things are getting better, worse, or staying the same. A question associated with evaluation requires the candidate to assess the observed outcomes and compare them against the expected outcomes. The final section of this packet will cover six types of items that are used by National Registry in the assessment of clinical judgment, leadership, and communication. You will also find that these six items are used on all of our examinations. A multiple choice item is an item that we're all very familiar with. In this case, the candidate must select one correct response 
out of four possible options. A multiple response item is much like a multiple choice item, but in this case, the candidate is asked to select either two or three correct answers based on the number of options that are found in the question. If two answers are asked, then there are five options. If three answers are asked, then there's six options. Graphics are also used on national registry examinations. These graphics include cardiac rhythms, uh, capnography tracings, images, and pictures. These items can be associated with any item type. Drag and drop items ask the candidate to position several presented options into certain categories, classifications, or other identifiers as specified in the directions. In this case, when you look at this item, the candidate is being asked to identify the most probable medical emergency, and they're also being asked to identify the most appropriate treatment for that medical emergency. Build list item requires the candidate to position several presented options into a specified order found in the instructions. When you view this item, the candidate is being asked to rank order the most likely medical condition for this patient. The final options, the options box, ask the candidate to classify, categorize, or identify several options presented in a table format based on the information that they've seen in the scenario. In this item, they're asked to identify things that would say that the patient's improving and things that would indicate that the patient is becoming worse. This slide ends the sample packet information. If you'd like to have more details and more information about the theoretical framework for clinical judgment in EMS, this is the article that you can go to. This is published in the Pre-Hospital Emergency Care Journal. The authors are Dr. Mihail Gucci, Dr. Kim McKenna, Dr. Tommy Platt, and Dr. Ash Panchal. This article found in the Paramedic Emergency Care Journal is public access, easy to access, and easy to read. It has more details on the model.